Good morning. Today is Wednesday, January 10th, and it's Gold Day. I'm Trent, and I'm your host for the WCHS Morning Announcements. Please join me in standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And for the month of January, FCCLA is collecting supplies for the Davies Shelter. Please help out by donating the following supplies, which can be delivered to Ms. Atkins or Ms. Brown's room. All-purpose spray cleaner, paper towels, unscented laundry detergent, shampoo and conditioner, garbage bags, and toilet paper. A complete list of supplies needed is posted by the Culinary Arts Classroom. For every 10 items donated, you can receive one hour of community service and stingers. Thank you for helping with this important cause. And the Young Georgia Authors Writing Contest is going on now with submissions being due on January 28th to Ms. Krista Hall. Students should share, can share their submissions with the teachers or directly to Ms. Hall. And the book club will be holding a meeting this Friday at 8 a.m. in Mr. Ayer's classroom, AU56. Anyone is welcome. Hope to see you there. And today for lunch, you will have the option of cheese quesadilla, walk-in tacos with chips and refried beans, or chicken and waffles. And now for the CHS weather, today it's going to be a high of 56, a low of 30, and a 4% chance of rain. And now moving on to sports. Yesterday, the Calhoun Varsity boys basketball team won their region opener game against, the, against Cass High School by a score of 60 to 52. Varsity girls basketball team also won their game by a score of 52 to 44. So congratulations to them. And now for today in history. On January 10th, 1964, the first General Assembly of the United Nations, comprising of 51 nations, convenes in Westminster Central Hall in London, England. And now for birthdays. Happy birthday to Nolan Fobert and Frank Ramos. Happy birthday, but before we're done, um, there's a special message I guess y'all need to see. Monkey see, monkey do. I have a poem for you. Psych, I ain't some kind of English person. But I do have a literary device for you. And the word is ad hominem, an attack of the person instead of the argument. And I'm, I'm just flabbergasted and, and devastated that my colleagues, one specifically, would choose to attack me personally my character, my intelligence, and compare me to a monkey, rather than bring a true argument against the words I was saying against my ill feelings and sentiments towards the English subject. I would expect more out of an English teacher, but I, I guess I'm just let down. So I'm not going to stoop to their level, but I just want to pose a question. Are we team green or are we team ELA? We know where Dr. Marcus stands. Thank you. <laughs> 